is my way, it's my way on the highway. Let me say it one more time. Hi, I'm Jacob Heifel. And I'm Henry Hook, and we're from the Trojan Blue Streak newspaper staff. And um, today we were reviewing a um, collaborative album entitled Kanye West Presents Good Music, Cruel Summer. Um, a couple of the featured artists on this album are uh, Kanye West, Big Sean, Pusha T, Kid Cudi, 2 Chains, and uh, D John Legend. Some other great artists that Kanye brought in that aren't from good music include Jay-Z and R. Kelly. Those, those are huge names to be put on an album like this. I might also add that this is one of the most anticipated albums of the year. It has been promoted, Kanye made a film about it, and it's seriously one of an album that you can't miss, even if it's not, not your type of music. And they really showcased this album well with their releasing of the single um, Mercy by Kanye. Um, it got a lot of radio buzz. It got a lot of sales on iTunes, it raised the charts, got made the top of the charts, and it really helped uh, push this album through. It's one of those, Mercy's one of those songs that, even if it's you don't like it, when you hear it on the radio, you're going to remember that tune, and there's so many great verses in that song. You, you get to hear a little bit of Kanye, Big Sean, 2 Chains. you just, you get the whole package of good music of what they represent in that song, and then they made a whole album just like that. Now there are a couple of flaws that we saw all through this album. Um, they didn't utilize every single good music artist very well. Um, for example, um, Kid Cudi, one of our favorite artists, only had one song on it and he only had one verse and then Smaller Names, just Common, only had one verse. Whereas um, Kanye West really like, even though like it almost was his album in his group, he really didn't allow for a lot of other, other artists to shine through. Might I add right there, Kanye West is the owner of Good Music. This is his label. He's the main producer. He's, he's the boss. But when he's making a collaborative album, I feel like he should have shed the light on his artists more than himself, considering he could have just made a solo album. And that kind of did bother me about it, because Kanye West is an egotistic guy. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I like his music. But I think another flaw of this album is Kanye just all of good music needs to just kind of step off their little platform for a bit and show that there are better rappers than them. Not necessarily even better, just other on their level because the whole album, they're talking about how much better they are. Like some of the raps they sing and their flows just, their flows are excellent, the production's excellent. It really is solid, but I think lyrically they could have gone a little bit more in depth than they did. And other musicians do that, that have great flows too, and that was probably my biggest problem with the album, is that they really just focused on, we are the best, but at the same time I really think making a collaborative album with your whole record label, they're trying to show that they are the best, they want to be better than Young Money. Um, also we found is the album is not consistent. Um, the first six songs in the album are our favorite and we really like them. It was a good intro to the album, but then the last six songs, um, they're just sort of flop. Click, 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 oh click, click. Ain't no okay, um, a couple of our favorite tracks we found from this album, like our top five favorite tracks, um, are, uh, the first one is To The World by R. Kelly and Kanye. It's a really good intro to the album, um. R. Kelly is really catchy. Kanye provides really good rap flows throughout the whole album. It's really consistent and a really good intro to the album. I would say my second favorite song is Hands Down The One. The One is one of those songs that it's almost just an anthem to the album. Like, you just get a great feel for what you're going to see. The, you have three verses on this track, starting off with Kanye, followed by Big Sean, and Two Chains. This, outside of us, this, out, this track has got lots of criticism because they say that Big Sean's flow is the same old Big Sean flow, which I do see, it's true, he kind of has the same thing, but this song has lyrical depth, which is what this album's missing, and this track makes up for it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. You also do have to remember that this chorus is quite cliche. It, like, it has this whole I'm a soldier thing, like, hasn't Eminem talked about that 65 times, but... 
other than that, I think it's just really one of the best tracks on the album, and I've been listening to it since it came out. Um, probably our third favorite is Creepers by uh, Kid Cudi, one of our personal uh, favorite. Um, as a Kid Cudi fan, I mean, I obviously love Kid Cudi, but um, I found the song really unique. He's been working on it for years. Um, his rap is clever um, and concise. Um, it's not for everyone because it's different. I mean, Kid Cudi's different, um, and he has been since... Um, the release of his rock album, Wizard. But um, we still like it a lot. It still showcases our favorite parts of Kid Cudi. Another one of my favorite tracks would definitely be New God Flow. This has Kanye West, Pusha T, and Ghostface Killa. All those names are big, and it is all just an extreme hard rap song. Like, you're just hearing spits almost the entire song with very little chorus. Also... New God Flow, they're talking about how they're better than everyone, and it completely shows what I hate about the album at the same time. It is completely Cocky. cliche, and they are so egotistic in this song, but it's just one of those, like, almost like a guilty pleasure song where it's like, it gets you pumped up because they're just spitting in it. It's really showing off, like, their rapping abilities as a, as a um, title. Um... One of our other favorite ones is Click by Kanye, Big Sean, and Jay-Z. Um, yes, the song is a little repetitive. Um, it almost reminds me of Tyga a little bit. Yeah, but uh, but um, the beat is incredible. Um, again, they have such good flows in this album. And, um, yeah, it's just it's a good radio song. Yeah, that, that beat in that song, it's probably my favorite beat on the album. Mm -hmm. i definitely say that. Um... All these favorite tracks, like we said, are probably the last, like, literally the bottom six songs of the album, besides Creeper, are our least favorite ones. And the one. Yeah, um, but, um, our probably, like, main, this, um, um, one we like the least is Bliss, uh, by John, uh, Legend and Tayana Taylor. Um, it doesn't fit, like, the first, like, six songs, like, it seems like a different, almost a different album, like, it... It's just... Um, what I would say about that track is that John Legend is a great singer. I like him on good music. He really adds to songs. Like, if you ever heard Memories Part 2 by Big Sean off his uh, debut album called Final and Famous, John Legend is a great addition to that song. But I think, for my personal taste in music, and especially for this album, with John Legend's voice, you need a rap. If you had a voice more like Frank Ocean, it might be better alone. But I think for John Legend's voice itself, this song just needed a flow. It might have made it a whole lot better. It's a little too slow to put the album. Okay. Um, also, there's Sin City, and um, it's just it's just a weird song. Also, John Legend's in the song. Travis Scott, Tayana Taylor again. Uh, a lot of a lot of small names on this album, and. Um, I just we just couldn't get into it. it. Just wasn't a very good song, and again, it reminded me of Tyga, which is not one of my favorite artists. Yeah, and I mean, there's those are probably our least two favorite tracks, and there's a lot of just like middle ground tracks on this, and like some such as "Don't Like," which closes the album. Um, a lot of people have heard a remix of that by Lil Wayne on "Dedication 4, which dropped a couple weeks ago, and I actually like that version better. And it might have been because I heard the remix by Lil Wayne first that made me favor it, and I just can't get into this version. But other than that, you have a few low points of the album, but I would still I still think it's solid. And overall, I would give the album probably 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, I'm not even a huge good music fan. Like, I have to be clear, my favorite rappers are Kid Cudi, Drake, and Lil Wayne. But, I do like to open my horizons, and I think this was a great album for everyone to look at. If you like hip-hop music, if you like good beats, like good flows, everyone should check it out. It definitely has its flaws, like, I mean, who wants to listen to people for a whole hour talk about how they're better than you? No one. But, I think everyone can really get into the beats. Um, I do need to add one last thing, that this is a very explicit album. But, so if that offends you, you probably don't want to listen to it. But I bet most of you guys could have figured that out. <laughs>
thinking it's listening to the names we're saying. Yeah, yeah. but it's a really it's a really good fall intro um, for the rap world, and um, overall, we like the good music album, um, Cruel Summer. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for some albums we'll review, just comment on the this video. We are willing to do almost any music. We can give it a listen, even if it's not our taste. We'll try to find a, someone else that does like that type of music to bring in and, and do it with us. Um, we plan on continuing to do this. So uh, thank you for viewing.